rules of the road don't apply to me. Get out of my way, kid. I'll kill you. <laughs> Navy life. Can you choose your uh, your duty station? Now this is one of those infamous things where uh, people will say uh, the recruiter lied or someone lied. It's, it's always like somebody lied or some shit. And you know what? They're kind of right and they're kind of not. Kind of right and they're kind of not. And in the way that it works, unfortunately, the way that it works is, uh, damn it, I should've went down that road. <laughs> is that uh, you're gonna get a lot of half-truths. So that really lies. That lies. They're just not telling you the truth. And right now I'm in a, just to let y'all know, I'm in a lot of the back roads of Silverdale right now. As part of the point of the video, because I'm, I'm stationed here, so you know, yeah, this is pretty much my home. It's terrible, it's terrible, I hate it. But, <laughs> but um, when you ask a recruiter, because you know, everybody's gonna ask a recruiter, hey man, do I get to pick where I get to go? You know, can I pick? And uh, you hear a lot of jaded answers from uh, different people. You know, the people who got completely screwed and don't like it will say that they got lied to. God damn, I'm gonna get lost back here. And the people who are kind of like all right with their duty station are gonna be like, meh, you know. See, they're doing this whaling day shit, and it's fucking annoying, because I can't go anywhere back here. Ugh, these motherfuckers. I'm gonna escape here and go back to the main part of the city. So, when you go to the recruiting station, what the, what the, uh, the recruiter's gonna say yes. He's gonna say, yeah, you get to pick your, your duty station. And he's not lying, but he's not telling you the whole fucking story, you know? So th this is how it's gonna go. Recruiter's gonna tell you yes. Um, your RDCs at boot camp will tell you it depends on your rate, and then they'll be like, they'll say something like, uh, you get all of these options. You know, like you could go here, here, or here, or here, and they'll name all these, you know, all these great places. Of course, they'll name some bumfuck places that nobody wants because they gotta make it more realistic. But they're not gonna answer the question. They're just gonna be like, you could go here, you could go here, you could go here. And, and, you know, some, you know, the little young guys are like, Oh my god, I'm gonna go to Korea! I'm gonna fuck all the she-boys out there! Oh yeah! <laughs> no shit, I had a guy say that. But, um... The reality... Well, no, I'm not done yet. Because then you go to A school. Ha! Ah, you go to A school. The A school structure will tell you this. This is what it all boils down to. Why they tell you yes. They're gonna tell you that the top of the class for your A school, whoever the top of the class is, the top two usually, okay, they say top three, gets their choice. And uh, that their choice is like in fucking cement. You're going, you, that's where you wanna go, you're going. And you know what? Uh, they're full of shit too. Well, again, they're not lying. They're not lying, my God. But the way it works, the way it used to work for picking your duty station, uh, I don't know how long ago. I'm gonna just say, a few years ago, the way picking your duty station worked was, um, you lined up outside the room, outside the classroom, in order of uh, uh, what you place in class, like so one through 10. And then they put all of the billets that are available up on the board in the classroom, and they let people in one by one in order and you know, if you go in there and you're the first one to grab a billet, then fuck yeah, you get what you want. And it's, and all the way down the line, until there are no billets left and you just kind of get stuck with what you got. And that's the way it used to work, like I said, a few years ago, before my time. The way it works now, is you'll hear this term all the time, even with picking my rate, this is how it worked, was you get a dream sheet. Where you get to pick your... I'm not gonna race in this fucking little city with this M5. <laughs> but uh, the way it works is you get a dream sheet with your top five, and uh, you, or top three, and you get a pick from there. And uh, honestly, unfortunately, it's kind of just a grab bag what you get in the dream sheets. Um, my top three were. Uh, <laughs> It was uh, San Diego, uh, Hawaii, which I really thought I was gonna get Hawaii, and then Washington, because I just wanted West Coast. So I was like, fuck it, last resort, I'll go to Washington. So I threw Washington on there, 
and um, yeah, and I'm in Washington, even though I, I really wanted San Diego or Hawaii, but uh, yeah, I'm in Washington. Now, that's me. Even me, I was lucky, um, and I say that because there's a guy here in Washington with me, one of my buddies that I went to class with and hung out in sub school and everything. He was second in class, and he didn't pick Washington at all, and he's out here. There's another guy in my class who picked, uh, he, he picked like Connecticut, Georgia, and I want to say, I want to say Washington too? And he got sent to fucking Guam. So, usually what'll happen is you get what's called needs of the Navy orders, and <laughs> that just means they send you wherever the fuck they want to send you, and you got to deal with it. Um, but yeah, that's that's generally how duty stations unfortunately work. You're gonna, you know, once you get to A school and you're about to, to wrap it up, you know what, you're about to wrap it up, they're gonna tell you, oh, you're, you might get, you know, needs of the Navy, you know, <laughs> which is just some lame shit. Um, now, if you re-enlist and you stay in the Navy and you go to shore duty, when you go back to a boat again, or a ship or whatever, because uh, you, you rotate on and off. So when you go to your second C command, you do actually, uh, you get to complain and, and pull pull a little, uh, I don't know what the term is, but you, well, you have more pull. <laughs> you have more pull in uh, where you go. I don't know, now this dude thinks I'm following him. But you have more pull and you get to actually uh, pick. You get to pick and choose. Um, you could still get needs of navy so you could still get forced to some bullshit billet. Uh, as my sea dad did, he's in ace, not ace, but he's going to shore duty, and he got sent to Virginia, which like, he's like, what the fuck, Virginia? So yeah, he's gonna go to Virginia for his shore duty after he re-enlisted, which kind of sucks, but you know, he just made second class, so fuck him at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's, that's duty stations in your picks, that fucking, that M5 distracted me, kind of threw me off my game, y'all, my bad, but uh, yeah. If you guys have any questions about your duty stations or whatnot, feel free to ask. You know, I always answer. Uh, you could always guess where you're gonna go because, like, submarines, we only have like six or seven bases. So I mean, you're going to one of those. <laughs> you know. So uh, the different rates have different things. Like I, I believe uh, Master at Arms can pretty much go fucking anywhere because they are everywhere. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment, like. And or subscribe if you haven't, or leave you know, leave a question, a Navy and military question that I can answer for you. So we can make this a little more interactive, you know. A little interactive. This guy might take me on the freeway too. We might we might need to see that guys. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next time.